Well, guys, all right, we're here with some, uh, some funny stuff. It's been a while. Oh, Jesus. I uploaded a video yesterday that had no audio from me. Holy crap. Was that just kind of embarrassing? It totally was, Ezreal. Thank you, Ezreal. And, uh, yeah, so we're getting into, uh, Popstar, I believe this is. This is Popstar Andy Samberg, and I believe this is written by the Lonely Island crew themselves. We're being put out by them. Um, yeah, because if anybody doesn't know who Andy Samberg is, no, he didn't start out in Chicago 99 or whatever that show is. Um, was it Chicago 99 or PD 99? Oh, fuck. I don't know the name of that show. Andy Spur, Andy, Andy Spur, Andy Sandberg was originally an SNL cast member that used to do all the animated digital or the digital shorts. There's 102 of them, and he's the one that did all of them for the most part. And all the, he's the one that came out with Dick in a Box, um, just had sex, uh, jizz in my pants, and um, what was it, Batman he did? He did a Batman one that was really good. Uh, he did the afro with uh, Kristen Wiig. That was really funny and really short but funny. And yeah, I, I mean, I made a point to get them all. They're all hilarious. They're all great. I think Andy Samberg was one of the best things that's ever happened to SNL. Maybe not TV, but SNL. And uh, now he's in a movie that looks like he's taking back his SNL um, roots with music, which they're funny music, and they're funny situations in it, and taking, again, out the TV part. And I think they're really bringing it back to what... Because Chicago 99 is not uh, a Lonely Island thing. It's him as a cast member. This is supposedly a Lonely Island. Uh, never Stop... Yeah, it says Never Stop, Never Stop Being Official uh, Restricted Trailer. Well, I wonder what that means. Anyways, let's just get into it. Um, let's see what it's all about. I think it's going to be good. I know it is. Let's do that. Hi. Wow, my monitor's sideways. Awesome. I'm really tired, by the way. So let's hope this wakes me up. My fans and me. I already like it. We're in love. I write the songs that make the whole The arena is our bedroom. Makes a whole lot of what money? The stage. The stage is where we fuck. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And Judd Apatow, there you go, baby. Connor for real is actually saving the record industry. Connor's hot. You tell me you didn't see him and say, yo, he's the star. This right. guy right here, he's gonna no. make it big. No, it's not him. people on his personal payroll. Sure, Connor surrounds himself with people who are agreeable. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> All my woodwork, it's kind of my passion. This one's a mask, still me. Justin Bieber's got his believers, and I've got my confidants. Best fans in the biz. It's kind of a perfect job for me, but my favorite free time thing is flatlining. Oh, wow. I shit my pants. Not, Not this time. time. <laughs> I'd love to get Connor to the point where he's just kind of everywhere. Dude, like this is insane. Or gravity or clinical depression. He's just <laughs> everywhere. Dude, this is great. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh my god. But it takes a village to make me look dope. <laughs> oh shit, the Thor hammer, man. Never stop, never stop it. Yes. Oh yes. Ah. Okay. This is like this is like when those people, those idiots went to 4chan and asked them to help them make a porno. This is like what the PG version is going to be. Holy crap. You got Adam Levine. Adam Levine was in the the YOLO, one of the last, if not, no, no, no. I believe there was the, for anybody that's a huge fan of SNL, like me, I'm a, I'm a huge, huge fan of SNL, and especially when they have things that were on, and then they come back and, and, and make like a special appearance. Everybody's like, oh my fucking God. Oh. So he left, he left SNL, and he came back when uh, Adam Levine hosted, 
and they did a, another SNL digital short, and everybody was like, oh, fuck yeah. It was called YOLO, and it was really fucking funny. This is going to be everything I have ever wanted. This is like every digital short into a goddamn movie. There's so much crap. We got, oh, <coughs> excuse me, Usher was in the Just Hat, no, 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 it was Akon, oops, racist. Um, they were in the, uh, no, no, uh, Usher was in the 100th SNL digital short, digital short, which I think was the official last digital short before he came back and I think did two more. And it was a sad one. Like, I'm one of those people that get nostalgic when people are leaving a show and I'm like, no, but we, we love you, don't, don't go. And so... I'm like that. I get I get sad when people leave shows or an anime ends, and I'm like, oh, the anime because I don't care about TV shows, but like not not like Daredevil, like it's over. No, oh, no, which I'm halfway through by the way. Um, but like when anime leaves, it's like, oh, it, it, they're just so good, and you know it's never gonna come back, so it's just fuck. So uh, everybody was in that. Justin Bieber was in that. Uh, Usher was in that. God, Justin Timberlake made his resurgence in that one. Because he was one of the ones that did the... He was one half a dick in the box. And that is probably one of the... Bi that is the biggest digital short. And this... And I'm talking about these digital shorts like they're really important. Because I get a huge vibe from, from that. What this show is... What this movie is going to be. I'm seeing this in theaters. No doubt. For sure. I will be checking this out. Uh, <laughs> it's hilarious. And it's going to be great. It takes, it takes a village to make me look dope. It, come on, it's good. this is going to have the best writing. It's going to take all the stuff that was like, yeah, that was greatly said back in the day. And they're going to take that and they're just going to fuck it up. You know, the stage is our bedroom. And in the bedroom, that's where we, or however he said it, fuck. And it's like, no, it's supposed to be make love. You know, he's going to be doing a lot of that. It's going to be taking inspirational or, or memorable or uh, important sayings and they're going to Fuck it up and just turn it inside out and it's going to be great. I can't wait. I saw Don Cheadle. Everybody's going to... Oh my God. And that's what happens when you're somebody from SNL. You meet all these celebrities. And if you're not a cocksucker, they like you. And when Lonely Island... Lonely Island. Two guys. Yorsef and the other guy. Uh, I was going to say Bieber. If you knew the joke, you'd get it. Um... They were just three dudes. They're not famous from anything else besides being Lonely Island. And they're coming out with their own, like, goddamn movie. And all these stars are coming in. Holy shit. That's, that's good. That's awesome. I can't fucking wait. It's going to be epic. It's going to be great. I can't wait for it. I think this is going to be probably the best funny movie of the last two years. Because... I have, actually I haven't seen a lot of funny movies. I'm not in the funny movie mood. Like I haven't even seen any of the Ted's because I just don't have the desire to. This makes me want to go back and watch funny movies again, which I think are usually I, I like horror, not horror, horror, and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna end it right there. If you have a funny movie you want to uh, recommend me just to watch, not a trailer, not a reaction, but just to check out, let me know down below. Love to see, love to hear you. If you want to talk about how uh, you think this movie is going to be good or bad? If you know who Ad uh, Adam Sandler was, uh, SNL, if you're a fan of anything, let me know. I love uh, responding to everybody. And if you're planning on sticking around, hanging out, being a part of the Legion, you can always like, subscribe, or share. Remember, it's completely up to you. I'd appreciate that, though. I said that kind of weird. And, uh, yeah, once again, I'm Azrael. I'll see you guys on whatever video I'm doing next later.